What well, up guys, this is Top PC Guides and this is Shy Amazing. And Big Red. And we're going to be doing HDMI and VGA on how to dual dual monitor both of them. Now um VGA, which is on le the left hand, holy shit. Uh <laughs> that VGA is a little bit of a less quality but is meant for basically PC. But Big Red's going to be explaining HDMI. Uh HDMI obviously is a higher freaking quality. Um, 1080p all the way. It's mostly for connecting it to like big monitors like TVs or a big computer in a monitor so you can get that best quality and resolution that you want. Now um, just because you have like a crappy computer doesn't mean that it doesn't have an HDMI port. There are some computers that do have an HDMI port. Laptops do have VGA and some of them have HDMI. Uh, desktops more especially they have HDMI but some some of them don't have HDMI it's just a different type of HDMI called mini HDMI it's just smaller same quality just smaller cords yeah and um, same with desktops for VGA um, some might have VGA or they might have a different type of VGA it's like DVI if uh, any of you know what that is you might want to look that up and do some a little bit of research. If you're looking to using VGA or HDMI, you're going to have to research that yourself. We just want to make sure that you know the difference between the two. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and go get back on the video on how to dual monitor through these two cords. All right. So basically, all we have to do is just put in put in the put the HDMI into the computer. Now. Um, since we have the TV already set up, we're using a pretty big TV so we can demonstrate it. Um, in order to change these settings, we're going to go ahead and pop ourselves into the PC mode so we can show you of what it looks like. Oh, look at that magic. Um, big Red has it turned on to the duplication mode. Duplication see, is basically a setting that allows you to set up so that whatever you see into that computer, you could see on the on that computer. And it's alright that it's flickering, that means it's just adjusting to the resolution because obviously the TV is way bigger than your computer monitor so it's going to have to adjust to the resolution on your computer to the big monitor. Now, um, VGA is a little bit different. Um, sometimes HDMI will do this flickering for quite a while until it's fully um, expanded and actually set up right. Yeah, it's got to like sync all the pixels because you don't want no big pixels inside of your HDMI. So, all right. So the other setting is called extended mode or extended display. So whatever you see from here or from from that monitor, you could drag it over to that monitor or that TV, which we're running it through a TV instead of a monitor. On our old video, we run it off of a monitor, but this time we're going to run it off of a I don't run off of an actual TV because it's a lot easier and more simple. Yeah. But anyways, I know it looks kind of terrible, but as you can see on the PC settings, um, it's it why I want to stop. Why I want to stop flickering. I don't know. It's <laughs> wow. Um, um, but anyways, as you can see, extended display and duplication display. We can go ahead and use extended display, and as you can see, it separates them from two monitors. So there's two different icons. This one should be the TV, or actually number two should be the TV. And the other one should be his monitor for his computer. So if we go ahead and click apply, it should save the settings and it should prompt whether or not if you want to keep the settings on the other monitor, not in this one. Right here. And as you can see, settings are applied onto that monitor. So go ahead and keep settings. And if one's bigger than the other, don't worry about that. Um, I know he's still using the watchdogs icon. The game's already coming out pretty soon. But anyways, as you can see, his mouse is on the one side of the computer and then um, it depends on which way you want to go you could flip the screen this way if you rather prefer going off to the side here obviously you would have to apply and then it'll be able to go off to the side like that um, and then flip the other way if you want it the other way but anyways that's basically how you use dual monitors on VG on HDMI now for VGA it's a little bit different obviously you just switch cords simply take out the cord it's not going there's no corruption going on between HDMI and VGA so all we got to do is go ahead and big red and put in the cord and as you can see <coughs> it's in the way sorry 
kind of got to see this. Oh, come on. Um, these are a little bit old cords, and we're just using um, some cords we found off of found them in my closet. Yeah, sorry, I had to, um, the screws obviously stick out right here, and mine, you don't have to screw in, it just kind of sits in there, so, why is it? Well, at least VG HDMI locks in, but yeah. HDMI or VGA, you have to, uh, screw in just for it to stay. And, um, sometimes, uh, HDMI on some, on some certain TVs or monitors, they don't let you adjust it so that if it doesn't fit like on it doesn't line up with the edge of it you can't adjust it like it doesn't let you but um as you can see it's perfectly adjusted it's perfectly lined up to the edge um on the HDMI it wasn't really but it has desktop quality yeah. It's not supposed to be HD, it's just supposed to be desktop quality. Yeah, obviously, yeah. This one, you can see it is less uh, quality. It's kind of, yeah, pixelated. Um, this has the same kind of settings. You could extend, duplicate, or whatever. But um, you can make, if you don't want to use your, your uh, laptop monitor, you don't want to use that one. You just want to use the TV. There's a setting in there when you can only set that monitor active and disable the other monitor. It's literally not that hard. Yeah, like uh, if uh, I wanted to show only desktop only two, and if that was the TV, it would only show that one. And that concludes this video, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and this is... Big Red. And shout out to Amazing. Goodbye.